Jackets football fans, welcome to the Coach Clay Stevenson Show, brought to you by the Eye Place. Stop and see Dr. Kenny Holloway at 101 South River Street in Calhoun. Call him at 706-629-4578. And don't forget, you can't miss the building. Walk through the yellow front door. Coach, congratulations. 48-13 victory over Woodland, a much improved team. Did you, you guys, y'all did what you were supposed to do tonight. You put up 48 points on the board and held up <coughs> 13. Yeah, it was. It was a, um, you know, it was a, like you said, kind of a, a tough game to, uh, to, to, to mentally get ready for. I feel yes. like we did, but it was just a tough, tough week when you're on fall break and a senior night. And, yes. you know, and, uh, and, and you know, we tried to focus on, it didn't matter who we were playing, try to focus on just getting better ourselves. And I feel like we did. I feel like we got better, you know, Monday through Thursday and showed up tonight. And, um, and we played a, you know, played a good game other than yes. a couple of here and there plays that, uh, that they made and that quarterback made some, some really good plays. Um, I think, you know, overall, it's, uh, I'm very pleased with it. We have a very good quarterback, Trey Townsend. Uh, just outstanding job, and we'll get to his stats uh, as we go through the game. Uh, but their quarterback does a nice job of throwing the ball. He throws a tight spiral. Uh, he's got a very dangerous wide receiver slash running back, number two, uh, that is just quick as a hiccup yeah. and fast. And they did a – he does – the quarterback has a good job, just like Trey, of seeing the field, and he's able to – he got off some – yeah, he's six that four, just, two fifteen. Yeah, he's a really good looking kid and uh, very elusive out in space. And then you know he threw up a couple that uh, stayed in the air for a long time. <laughs> yeah. And um, it's just hard to cover guys for for that long because we were getting pressure a lot of times, and he was getting out and just making plays. But overall, you know, other than just you know a handful of plays, um, you know, I think the, the defense played play solid. Yes, they did play solid. Uh, let's see. Trey was 13 for 22, 201 yards. He threw four touchdowns. Caden Williams rushed uh, 11 times for 140 yards. He had two touchdowns. Uh, Caden is up to 913 yards rushing on the season. And we said uh, passing was 201 yards. So Trey is up to 1,723 yards passing. And he has 20 touchdowns. on. He's thrown for 20 touchdowns and only two picks. Yeah, they've done a good job. Yeah, and then the thing that <coughs> you really liked is we spread the ball around. And you said how many receivers did we hit? I think we had eight, eight yeah. different ones, so which was, uh, which was you know a, a point of emphasis going into the week. And uh, I think Trey did a good job. Imari had four catches for 114 yards. He's up to 735 yards on the season, and he now has 13 receiving touchdowns. And um, there was a lot of times it was like a man playing against boys. Yeah, it was. Down the field. it was. He did a good job. Um, you know, wide open on, on two of his touchdowns. Um, and then, he, you know, he did the rest uh, uh, after that. Yeah, a couple of times he was just like playing flag football. Mm -hmm. just, just get away from me. Uh, we also got Brian Arnold into the end zone offensively. He has a pick six to his credit, so he got, he got a receiving touchdown. And how about the Ripper, Ripken West? He gets his first touchdown. Yeah, that was a great drive, great read by Trey. Um, I don't think we've hit that route on that um, on that route combination one time the whole time we've put it in this whole year. So, uh, but he read it and, and did a good job of coming off what we we're trying to throw to and, and hitting Rip and Rip did a good job getting the ball. Yes, I think you had uh, let's see uh, four possessions in the first half and you scored four. Four touchdowns, and we had one punt with 24 seconds left. A good punt by Isaac Green, 46 yards, with 24 seconds left in the half. So your first four possessions, you get 28 points. Yeah, we were kind of doing what we wanted to do in that two-minute drive. Or it was a 55-second drive. Um, you know, we wish we could have converted that. I told Trey going into it, let's try to get to the 20, try to get in field goal range if we could, but um, end up going three and out on that drive and, and punting it away. But uh, played really solid. Let's take a look at the first half highlights. It was... Senior night, honoring all the fall athletes. They yeah, missed the kickoff. Um, they kicked a little squib kick, and uh, it was misty and wet, yes. and that rubber ball, but uh, they ended up getting the, getting the kick. <coughs> yeah, they, they set up shop at our 36-yard line. And, uh, yeah. hey, this is a nice, feisty team. Yeah, 74 is a good player. He can play on any team in the region. Yes, um, he is. They've got him. I don't think he played much offense last year, but he's a really good defensive lineman. Um, they got him playing both ways this year. Yeah, and he, he's a good-sized kid. Yes. Yeah. So, they bang a second down play in there. Now it's third down. Quarterback rolls to the right, and this kid's got a nice arm. Yeah, one of them get off the field there on third and 
five or six, but uh, did a good job of sprinting out and then just getting open. Two was a good good player. Very good know. player. I feel like he, 74, one and two, or they could play on you know any team that we play. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> yeah, they do a good job. I kept thinking they weren't set. Um, I might have to go back and watch live. It didn't look like that. I thought they were illegal shifting a lot. Um, Rivers didn't think so, and they may be right, but I want to go back and look. This is one of the most laid-back officiating crews we have. Yeah, but I feel like they did a good job. Didn't oh, call, yeah, you know, right. Didn't call, um, you know, anything out of the ordinary. <clears throat> Another third and long there that, you know, we, we brought pressure, and he threw it up and, and, and got the first down. And I'll tell you what, you get the hands in number two, get the ball in number two's hands, he's dangerous. Yeah. And a good hard run there. So give yeah, him you know, kind of gave him a short field, but we still want to. We want to play play better defense than that. We want to, we want to bow up and, and stop them. We force them to a field goal. They converted two third downs and, and get the touchdown. I saw this kid, uh, Miranda, kick pregame. But when the game started, he just kicked nothing but line drives and barely went over the crossbar. Yeah, I thought we might get a block and just couldn't quite get it. Again, just kicking a tough ball to field. But <clears throat> they're taught if it's coming too hot, they're going to let it go and let somebody else get it. Good job by Justin there, just uh, hey, getting what he can get and finishing got you, the run. Got you nine, ten yards on the return. Yeah. So first and ten for the Yellow Jackets. We're down seven nothing. Hall's Hogs giving him lots of time, giving Trey lots of time to pass the ball. Yeah, we want to come out and play fast, and uh, so we're playing really up tempo right here. It's hard to see there, but uh, playing extremely fast. This is a good play. They uh, brought a blitz off that edge, and I think they were lined up a little bit wrong. That's one good thing they do. They uh, you don't know where they're going to line up. Right. So we, I think I had to call a couple timeouts just because uh, we thought they'd be in something they weren't. Had a post there and something something was just wrong overturned. with it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if the route was run too shallow or what. But Caden, like I said earlier, every time I put a mark, put his number down on my play sheet. It seemed like he was gaining 10 yards. Yeah, we're doing a good job, and he's running the ball uh, really good downhill. This just about, if he could cut up right there, he might get a score. But good job getting some speed guys the ball with Jaden. <coughs> and got eight, nine yards. Yep. Which is what you want of a run. <clears throat> and then there goes Caden. He just blitzing and into the end zone. It goes touchdown for Caden Williams. Yeah, you know, the, the line and the tight end of W's can get you only so much. And he has to finish the rest, and he did a good job tonight. Uh, he's, he's a finisher, Coach. Yeah. Carlos, Carlito Lopez with the extra point out of the snap of Matt Scoggins and a hold of Isaac Green, and we're <coughs> in the tie ball game. We do a sky kick. There's a slight breeze going from south to north, folks. So yes. down to the 20-yard line. Yeah, good job getting him inside the 35 on sky yeah. kick. Um, didn't want to give anything big. First and 10 for the Wildcats. I thought we had pretty good pressure on him most of the night. Yeah, we did. He's still just tough to tough to tackle. He, you know? Like you said, he's 6'4", 200 pounder. Mm -hmm. He's a good sized kid. Nice tackle there by Ben Williams and uh, Christian Smith. Christian, uh, coach, I racked up a bunch of tackles for a loss for you guys tonight. Yeah, I feel like we, we had a bunch of, bunch for a loss. Uh, yeah, we're getting we're definitely getting some penetration. Yeah, there's one. So force them to punt. For them, sure, they did a good job. We really thought we could block something, you know, whether a punt or a PAT, as you and I were talking about pregame. Look at this but, spot. Um, this is one I just couldn't believe they spotted. I thought it was going to be up around the 40 to 45 yard oh, line because yeah. it went out of bounds. I mean, in the air. Yeah, there again, great run by Caden. Of, that's the unblocked guy, and he made a miss right there yeah, in the did. hole. A lot of guys wearing <laughs> pink, cancer awareness <clears throat> month. This is the only negative. Yeah, we missed. Uh, you know, we, we just had to call a little bit different there. Um, I think we get it. We get it fixed later on. Yes, you did, because that's the only time it happened all night. Hit Amari, and the DB just came up and raked the ball out of his hands. Yeah, just kind of slipped out. It's still it's wet here. Uh, that's yes, a great job by Trey and Caden here. Um, they took away. They dropped seven guys, um, so you just take it underneath and. Uh, we were just a yard short. I think he thought he had the first down. Fourth and one. Bring a fourth down. <clears throat> and thank goodness you know how to put a quarterback under center on short yardage situations. Yeah, like we had there, and you know, get the get the first down. Because I don't <coughs> see I don't see it in college much. Yeah. Hunter White got some really good runs tonight. Yeah, he did. Um, 
Hey, uh, I'm not sure how many he had, but... I'm gonna look it up for us. Oil. Yeah, 100 carried the ball 12 times for 82 yards. Another one here that he uh, just about, I think if he trusts the speed, he might could beat him to the pile line. But, <laughs> he might have. Uh, he might tried have. Tried to make that one guy miss, and there was something behind him. But great job of running. Yeah. Here they just, uh, this is not what we had called, um, but when you're uncovered, uh, we, we practice it sometimes. We'll just get him the ball and trade. And Bryant just made it up. Backyard football, and let's, let's go. So. Great. Yep. Yeah, I'm tickled to see Bryant get an offensive touchdown. He yeah, actually Trey was, his eyes, I think, were so big, he was trying to get the line to hurry up because he was uncovered <laughs> and uh, did a good job there. <coughs> Another sky kick from left to right. Good coverage here. Yeah, I feel like Stowe Morgan, uh, I think he had several tackles. Yes, he, he had did. two or three yes. on special teams. A good yep. job there. By, um, he's come a very long way. I'm super proud of him um, contributing this year as a senior. Oh, this is good defense, Coach. Nice tackle out in open field by uh, Christian Smith. I think I was, yeah. Is that Christian? Uh, I think it might have been Berg. I'm not sure. But, okay. That was Tom. Christian. Yeah, that's yeah. Christian. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that was Montez yeah. on the previous play. Sorry about that, Montez. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of the guys wearing some pink tonight. <coughs> I think they were off size, maybe, yes. or, or they, yeah. And then we just, <laughs> Christian Smith <coughs> was all over him. He has a good job of uh, drawing up that stunt and, and hitting it at the right time, and, and Christian did the rest. That's going to flip the field. So they've got fourth down for the 19 and a half. We have a 14 to 7 lead after the end of the first quarter. They had a few right there, just I couldn't quite get the angle to, to block it, and they did a good job of getting it out quick. Yeah, and, but, it's, but it's a short punt. We get great field position. We're at our 46-yard line. There's 11.48 left in the first half, up 14-7. This is one here that I called timeout. Uh, didn't really like what we had, so didn't want to waste You called that right at the last yeah, second. Yeah, it's close. And you just hand the ball to 21 behind Hall's Hogs, and there's going to be a lot of yards gained. We're yeah. at their, in their territory at their 46. You're right. We're getting 8 and 10 chunks. Yeah. That's a lot. Well, actually, it was, we didn't get a first down. Second down. We're at their 45-yard line. I got ahead of myself. A good job there. Trey just uh, getting rid of it. Yeah. There was nobody <coughs> open. I think we were running double post, one from each side. <clears throat> and there's your first down. Yeah, like on second short, trying to take a shot. Just couldn't get the, get, get the protection right. You're pretty confident you're going to be able to run the ball just about any time yeah. you want it. And they were bringing a lot of pressure. It was it was yeah. tough on the offensive line. Doing a good job. It was a good, good block here by Ben Williams, still on the edge, and um, Hunter White and, and Penny on the, on the run. Yeah, Cam did a good job of getting to the outside. We're going to have the ball at their 25-yard line. <laughs> There's you, Mark. Yeah, this here was um, – that was – Pretty easy pickings there. Yeah. Um, got a good release and, and no safety over the top. So yeah. uh, traded a good job of, of getting in the ball. <clears throat> now Sergio in there. First time yes, in sir. a while. Proud of him. Yep. Um, he gets two of these tonight, folks. Yeah, he's done a really good job of uh, rehabbing and getting back. And well, he's worked him, hard at that. him for PAT. So. Ball goes just past the pylon in a touchback. Yeah, we he got kicked several right there in that, in that golfing corner. Yeah. He, we had the, a slight wind at our back. Uh, yeah, Sergio just did a good job of getting ready. This is a nice route run. In the yeah, he, he, he was there. He said he just lost him at the last minute. If you watch the whole play, he's, he's on him. And at the last minute, he just kind of loses track of him. And uh, it was a good throw, good catch. Yeah. Because it wasn't, it wasn't terrible coverage. No, no, he was there. <laughs> Missed these pass, little stop route on the left-hand side, high and wide. Quarterback rolls to the right. Dude, uh, the rest of the season, did they run out of the empty backfield as yeah, much as they did they tonight? Mm -hmm. that's, okay. that's, their, that's their offense. It's, so it's sort of similar to, to last week's as we talked about this week, but um, it's sort of similar kind of what uh, 
Cedartown came out in. Yes, I remember that. Yep, yep. that week. <clears throat> yeah, it's a good job by the quarterback of sprinting out, hitting the open man. Finding the open receiver. And then this is good defensive pressure. A good job by uh, Alec. Alec. Up south, I think. Yep. He and Schuler were, they, they were tough again, as was Christian Smith. Uh, you, you ended up moving Montez to nose guard and they're yeah, moving around a little bit. Yeah. Because <coughs> um, they run so much jet sweep stuff. I want to move those guys around. I'll tell you what, Christian Gregory can go sideline to sideline. He can. He can. So they line up with the quarterback under center. Get to the running back right. Ooh, there's the slobber knockers. Good job by Ben Williams and Bryant got in there. Alec. Yeah, there are four of them on it. I couldn't, I didn't know how to divide up the tackles for a loss. They're moving right there, too. Oh, they, they just got. They're eating this up. So a good job here of, of kind of standing in there, and I guess they had it at the, what, the two? Yes. -ish. And we, yes. We pushed them back to third and go from the eight or so. Yeah, they're going to line up for a 22-yard field goal attempt. Yeah, they, they were knocking on the door, and the black shirts just stiffened their backs. I don't know how we missed that. Yeah, I think we. I think it went through our hands there. That's the one that we got yeah. closest to. But <laughs> from that hash, it had to come right over us. Another squib kick. This is a good job of fielding that. Yeah, it's, it's tough, to, tough to catch. Even if you know it's coming, that oh, ball no. is, is oblong, and it's, uh, it's tough to field. So here they're bringing a lot of pressure there. and um, How we won just couldn't quite get it to him right there. <laughs> and I don't know. I, I credit that with some moisture on the ball. Maybe the grip. Yeah, I think it slipped out a little bit. <clears throat> like to have that one over. Penny had, had him by five or six yards. Oh, yeah. I think, yeah, Caden held onto that ball, but they spun him around. And when he first spun him around, you thought, is the ball loose? Yeah, we called timeout here. Um, they credit, they gave us a timeout because we were offside. So luckily we got the timeout. Okay. There is a nice pass in the middle. And then he just starts shedding tacklers. I mean, there's like seven or eight guys had a shot, and they finally bring Imari down at the 30. And that was a good, uh, good pick up there. First and 10 from the 30 yard line. Yeah, we got here, and we actually had. Uh, <laughs> turn it on, turn it on, step inside, go to the end zone, touchdown. <laughs> had 10 players on the field right there. Who we did? We did, but I guess that's all we needed. <laughs> I guess that's all you needed. You had we had when some of those sets right there when you have an all when we bring in an extra lineman and we have a lineman go down it just it threw us off there for a little bit of time and that was uh, an extra point after the illegal procedure penalty against us by Sergio the ball just set up you don't hit lob wedges that good do you oh that was a good kick very good, <laughs> that was kick. A good no, kick not anymore no <laughs> no I'm teasing so they've got the ball deep in their territory at the 14-yard line. And then they get the halfback pass, and that's not going anywhere. <clears throat> that's a good job out of staying in coverage. There was 314 left in the half when they got this ball. Yeah, that was, you know, might go three and out and, and force them to punt from their, their end zone just about. But right. uh, they did a good job of moving the sticks right there. Yeah. They got first... First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Look at Christian Gregory <coughs> go side to side. He gets yeah, a five-yard tackle for a loss, Coach, on a running back. Says, uh, yeah. The defensive line was pretty good. Yeah. And you got it. Yeah, he, he's still in the middle. Good job there. I think that was up, Shaw. The South three linebackers playing well. The front's playing good job. And, but we didn't, uh, we, we didn't go for that shake-and-bake move at all. Just stuck our helmet right in there. That was a upshaw on that tackle, wasn't it? Yeah, we it? called a timeout somewhere in there. Yeah, you um, did. I think we get it back with a minute. You're not going to have too much time left. Yeah, you're going to get it back with 54 seconds yeah. left. I like the fact that he took this punt and then stepped outside off the bounce. Yeah, that was a good job of, of fielding it off on one bounce. And here's what we want to, this is the only one I wish we could have back. I uh, want to be able to convert right here. And, we're trying to get in field goal range. Uh, and we, we had the ball momentarily, and the DB just raked the ball right out of our hands when we made that turn. Yeah, incomplete there. And, yeah. Uh, bring up a third and 
ten and third and ten. But we're still going to try to take shots because even sure. you know we feel like we can punt it uh, and hit it right here. Just just couldn't quite uh, couldn't quite haul it in yeah. for, for a touchdown. Yeah. So forces us to punt, uh, which like I said, that's one drive you got to get on a two minute drive or a fifty second drive. You got to have a drive starter that gets you going and uh, couldn't quite get it there. So this is a nice punt. Goes down to the one yard line. <clears throat> yes, yeah, one just got to you got to get it. You got to get it off, and he did even better. Yeah, you got a 46-yard punt. So they've got the ball with 24 seconds left. <coughs> they uh, run the clock out. And that's how the half is going to yeah. come to a close. And so um, probably not a whole lot said at halftime because you, you've got things going your way. Well, you know, defense had a really good uh, film session. They got in there and watched it. Uh, offense, we would just look back and, you know, we can – we talked about we can go back and, and run to things we haven't run or, or draw some stuff up, but – when we looked at our stats from the first half, we just said we need to keep doing what we're doing. We're getting eight, ten yards pop, and then we're getting open receivers when we want them. So, um, you know, not much, not much adjustments there. Just making sure we go out and, uh, and 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 execute the same way we did the first half. Yeah, and so far it's clean. Uh, like you said, you only had one punt. You had four other possessions in the first half, and you got 28 points out of it. And uh, we we got an injured field goal kicker back. And, Everything's going pretty healthy right now, so things are going good. Let's take a look at the second half highlights. Jackets on top, 28 to 10 here. Yeah, well, you know, we kick it off to them, and uh, this was close. It just it turned left. Just backed up, but yeah, kicked yeah. left a little bit, but gave it to them on 35. <clears throat> and that's okay. Really want a three and out right here just to kind of get, get the ball back in our hands and. Uh, because they're, you know, they're a score away from making it a two-possession game. Right. <coughs> good pressure. He breaks a tackle, and this kid is slippery, and he's got some yeah. speed, folks. He's good. We just you know, missed two, maybe three tackles there. Yeah. But he's tough to tackle. He is. He runs hard, and he's not very heavy. They only have him listed at 150. Mm. And again, they just, uh, just find a way, and all of a sudden they're in the red zone. You know, the difference between last week and this week, this quarterback can throw on the run and be accurate with it. He does a good job. This is number eight that scored that touchdown earlier. So it's not exactly how we want to start this this half. No, um, no. They're uh, down there in the list and you know, had him wide open right there. He just uh, dropped it. Just yeah. Wet ball. Wet ball. Right. <laughs> so. That, Hand off to the running back. He cuts it up inside. And we tackle him good. We, we got him cornered that time. Yeah, it was a good job. I Cohen come up and make the tackle. <coughs> so they've got the ball. At they did a good job of, of using the whole clock. You know, they were, they were doing their best to limit our possessions. And you yes, look at the first half, if, if we didn't score four times on four possessions, then it's a, maybe, you know, a little bit different game. Yeah, maybe it's a 14-10 game or something like that. Yeah, they wouldn't blow the whistle. The ball was on the ground. I know. Supposed to be blown, uh, or he might have blown it. Couldn't hear it, but they line up, kicked a field goal, and he he gets one through. And so yeah, well, you know we're we kind of looked at halftime of what we wanted to do, and but then they cut it to a two score game, and so it's very important right here to come back and get it back to a three score game yeah. as quick as we could. Twenty eight thirteen. This is a good job of fielding that, and tucking the ball away and covering it with both hands and getting yeah. it up to the forty yard line. And this was I thought we were going to let it go and just. The last really, man standing was going to be there, but I'm talking on the I'm talking on the stream. I'm thinking, blow the whistle. Yeah, same play we scored on earlier right here, and um, <laughs> yeah, good job. He's off to the races, to the twenty, to the ten, and then it's a touchdown for Amari Winston. Yeah, that was a big play, really. You know, they, yeah. like I said, they just cut it to a two-score game, um, and we actually wanted to do a little bit different stuff, but uh, we needed to. You take a fifteen-yard 15 15 touchdown. Right, we need to get that score. Yeah, quickly. Yeah. So there's 8.18 left, and we expand the lead to 35 to 14. Yeah, a good job of Sky kicking there at the yeah. 30, 29, 30. Yeah, if he lets that kick go, <coughs> they get it 35. Yards, yeah. Yeah. Not but the way he's been making that thing bite, you never know. <laughs> you never know. It's a good pursuit another. right here. Uh, we got you know, a lot of guys running to the football. <clears throat> Yeah, we got uh, Ben Williams, we got Isaac Green, we got a bunch of guys tackling for a tackle for a loss. 
We got a timeout. I think time yes. is running out for there. Yep. Empty backfield. Quarterback scrambles, throws the ball down the field. And this was just a good job by Brian Arnold. He he had this guy covered. He just read the ball nicely. That's a good play. Yeah. <coughs> good play. Yeah, they just this is going to come back. And sprint out. They had a holding call right there. Yeah. They held Christian Smith on the backside. Yeah, one of the few ones, and that's, you know, we like playing in games that way. Whether, yes. whether, they're not, whether they're not calling everything and not having to explain calls and this and that, that's, uh, I feel like it was a good crew. We were kidding. Christian Smith's helmet came off, and one of the guys said, well, I'm going to have to give him a haircut because he's yeah. got a lot of hair. He does. <laughs> Punt rolls out of bounds, and we're going to take over. <coughs> Time for the pound and shoot offense to get back on the field at our 41-yard line. Yeah, I think there's... What, three or four minutes right here and six or one. To, okay, we're trying to get it to uh, want to go up 30. You know, we want to we yeah, get a running clock. I knew you were itching for a running clock just a little bit beyond his reach. Yeah. It, it, they were offside, so it's second and five after the incomplete pass. We're in corn blitz right here, and Kate yeah. does a good job of seeing it. And Give it to 21. Getting first down. Yeah. We're at their 40 yard line, 41, first and 10. 35-13 lead. They're showing blitz. They come with a blitz. It's a good hard run just to you know, turn a zero yard into a two or three yard game. Yeah, you got a three it's, yard it's game. huge. Yeah, second and seven. Off the yeah, left side. Wide in there. Sager at, Sager at uh, that tight end right now. That's almost unfair, Coach. That's a big boy. Trey rolls to the right-hand side, looking for their receiver down there. Yeah, and hit him just for briefly, but uh, they came in and knocked it out. Yeah, the DB <coughs> was right there as soon as the catch touched our receiver. You know, just bringing, bringing the house uh, makes yeah. it tough on Trey. Well, uh, yeah, and, and the problem with the, with the stunts that they're doing on our, our running plays, once Caden breaks the line of scrimmage, it's free running. Yeah. Well, here at third and four. Good job of just getting the uh, getting first down. And they shove him about over the fence, so they add an unsportsmanlike on top of it. Yeah, I was glad he didn't get hurt on that. Yeah, I think he might have, might have played it up a little bit, but <laughs> I teased him about that later. He said, no, coach, he pushed me. I said, we got a flag anyway. So we got a flag, yeah. <laughs> That's a good All job right. here by Trey. Um, kind of comes off what we're trying to and sticks it right in there to rip him. Yeah, the Ripper with a six. <laughs> I like it. That is it. That's the first touchdown of his career, maybe? Oh, um, not sure. Yeah. Definitely first this touchdown year. this year. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we line up for the extra point. Yeah, so we're up 28. We want to go up three. Yes. Or up 30. Yeah. Because so, if it's 30, it's the guaranteed running clock. Right. And it's raining, and we're trying to get it. Um, so then we back up five and still try to go for it. Uh, and just hit him right there. It's a good throw. It's just it's wet and he bu he's a bullet. Yeah, it's a tough, tough catch. I mean, that was a bullet. So, like you said, we're up twenty-eight points and kicking down to the five-yard line. Tackle this guy. He breaks it to the outside. Lost a little bit of contain there. Yeah, look well, at this. I want to see kind of how he. Carlos with a slobber. Did Carlos knocker. get in there? Yeah, Carlos knocked him out of bounds. Good. He got him good. He laid the wood to him. Ninety-seven. I'm going to go back and watch how they got how many yards. But we just got kind of bunched up there. Just about picked it there again. It's just raining. This is the <laughs> second time that he's been on number two, and he's reading mm -hmm. the play right. Yeah. Brian Arnold doing a good job at defense there. There is another tackle for a loss. Yeah, good job. Um, like Jacob and Brian. Yes. Motion. Throw it out here in an open window, and he catches it. We got there just as I almost had the feeling that the DB was thinking, "Do I take him out or do I go for the ball?" Yeah, um, well, floated in there for a long time. Oh, Thought one yeah. of the two would happen. And <laughs> ends up hitting their their guy. There's good defense. <coughs> shut the run down on a wet night. Number two is slippery, so we go to the fourth quarter. They're at our 32-yard line. Oh, yes, yeah, so he puts the gloves on. 
after then during the timeout, and uh, that was a little bit out of his reach. So that was a tough. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was good, good defense again. That's the thing when it rains. You, 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 sometimes you don't wear your gloves. I'm just gonna say you're better off without the yeah, gloves. Sometimes it's it's kind of personal preference, but touch and go. <coughs> we take over on downs, and with. Just didn't quite handle the snap well. It was a little bit low, and then yeah, we're trying to run as much time right here. And yeah, you are. It's not how we want to start, so we try to throw for it and get. Uh, well, this this know, is get a good back. pass. Yeah, now, he he covered a lot of distance. <coughs> Trey throwing cross field, good route, good catch. Brought off third manageable, and just a good throw and good catch by Stowe to keep the sticks uh, or move the sticks and move the keep sticks. the clock going. So we're at our forty-nine yard line. First and ten, and we're going to let Hunter White. So that's what we're trying to do the first play of that other the one back there, but uh, just trying to bleed as much time as we can, snapping it, you know, under ten every time. And just bleed as much as we can out. Hunter likes to run the ball north-south, Coach. He does. And the thing about it is he's just a sophomore, and he's going to get uh, thicker. As oh, yeah. In, in the weight room. Mm -hmm. Hand to him one more time. This yeah, we're just kind of in one formation and just running one to the right, one to the left. And just Thomas, trying to bleed as Thomas much. Well, still blocking downfield, big boy. Yeah. I like it. They called it a little bit. Yeah, they were offside. They were offside, yeah. They, they came with that stunt <coughs> on the far side and they jumped offside. They just stunting almost every play. Yeah, we got Walker Row in there, um, senior at W, and I think Trey, Trey comes in in a minute. <clears throat> we got Cross, Cross in at uh, at quarterback, Cross Land, freshman quarterback for Trey. Yes, put him in. Uh, I didn't realize he was only a freshman. He's got on those uh, breast cancer awareness cleats. That's right. They were bring in uh, Trey. The, Trey Parkins, the center. <clears throat> yeah, I was at Brian practice. actually brought him into it. I was at practice, and you were practicing like getting him onto the field quick after. Like, yeah, Thomas two minutes. Yeah. yeah. Good job there getting in the end zone by Hunter White. I swore his foot, in there, I swore his foot was on yeah, the side. Yeah, sorry. We had Corey Cook right there and uh, Jake Jordan. That, that wide receiver did a good job. We'd take the touchdown for Hunter White. Line up for the extra point. I saw Joe kicking another one. Yeah, he gets three <coughs> for the night, doesn't he? Yeah, I'm not sure. I know he he went in after two. I mean, yeah. he scored. Yeah, that, I think that was his third one. Score seven. Yep. Yeah, that that. Uh, you missed the. Uh, that put him at forty-eight third. Put us at 48-13. Yeah. Scored with 5-12 left. So we got a lot of a lot of backups in right here. Yeah, you got a lot of guys into the game. Got uh, Aiden Adcock and Jackson Williams. This play takes forever, and we finally get it. Yeah. Clayton Go, Aiden Veal. Blake Hammett with the sack. Garrett Hasty looks like. Uh, brought him in there. This was good. This was. Uh, you know what we had planned for the for the game Ooh. to get some of these guys. That's Bo Kelly right there. Um, Is that fifty? Good sophomore. Yep. Boy, he gave a slobber knocker to him. I like it. <clears throat> they run a little counter. And they call us for a face mask at the end of this. Yep, I, I couldn't tell. Neither could I from the it's booth. Probably a face mask. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. More pressure on the quarterback. He's yep, scrambling yep. again. I thought this one stayed in there a long time, but Penny was breaking this way. Yes, he was. He couldn't quite get back over there. No. Nope. Yeah, he and Jaden Thompson, uh, Stowe and Hunter on the back end. You got a lot of offensive, in there. a lot of second string offensive guys playing defense here. Yeah, yeah, everybody plays everywhere. Yes. So it's uh, good to get them some reps on defense. <coughs> so they got a nice drive going. They took over with 5 3 left in the ball game. They're trying to punch another one in, and we're putting pressure all over them. This is a huge sack. Yeah, loss of a bunch. Uh, it was a loss of 16. Yeah. <laughs> and with that sack was Hunter White. 
He's filling up the stat sheet, coach. Touchdowns, rushes, sacks. So we're really trying to just get the, get the game get over, over with here and um, throw a screen pass. Good job of closing in on it. Want to keep it out of the end zone. I think that was Aiden Adcock applying some pressure there. Yeah. Trying to bring that running back down. Quarterback scrambles again. Throws it up in the air, and there's mm, they find that guy again. Yeah, that's a good job. Um, How, he did that three times this game. Rolling one yeah. way and throwing back across the field. And it's in the air for a long time. Just He just <coughs> ran off to number two. Yeah, I thought he might get in. Jake Jordan came up with <coughs> a really big stop there. Nice stick. Yeah. Nice tackle. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Second down. Try to go outside. Yeah, good job by Jaden. Just oh. grabbing, holding on. <coughs> Several other ones got in there as well. That was Jackson Williams at the end getting in there on that tackle. And they're going to get one. They get this playoff right before the horn sounds. Throw it into the end zone. Yeah. Good defense. Yeah, it was a good job by Jaden. You don't want to end on a, on a score. Yeah. So that, was a, uh, that was a good job. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Uh, you are now 6-2 and two on the season. <laughs> Two and one in the region, and um, we can talk about scores or we can talk about whatever you want with, yeah, the, no, just, with the other teams. Uh, yeah, I'm really, really proud of seniors. You know, yeah, that's, you um, that's the last uh, it was the last guaranteed home game. Um, so, so just proud of their effort and, and what they've given to to Calhoun football program. You know, a lot of those guys. Um, I guess all of them that were just being born when, when I moved here yeah. 19 years ago. Got to see you know Bryant and uh, and Isaac knew when they were born. You know, because yeah, you worked. Mr. Green was our principal a long time ago, and uh, and obviously Coach Arnold uh, and I have been together for for uh, the whole 19, 19 years, years. So over 18 of it, I think. So um, just a uh, it was a good night. Good night for all those. They had 20 of them that got recognized, and getting to see their family and having that moment on the field was uh, was was very special. Yeah, it, it was, uh, and, and we've talked about this before. These 20 seniors have been an integral part of this team last year as juniors and, and particularly this year as seniors. It, it's just amazing. Yeah, it is. That's the awesome part about coaching is, you know, you, we get 30 years of senior classes, um, but, you know, they, they, get, they get one. So I try to tell them that all the time to, to make sure they're, they're not taking it for granted and, and taking advantage of every opportunity they had, and I thought this group – has done that uh, for the most part. Yeah, it, it was a nice night uh, outside of the, the, the misty rain, yeah. but uh, I, I like the uh, plaque that you gave Oliko Dennis's family. He, he was number two. His senior year was 2016, and he was our, our lead running back for at least two years that I remember. Yeah, you know, he was a, uh, a big part of the 2014 state championship um, Win. You know, he had a, a big run for a touchdown on that one as a sophomore. Yes. Um, so it was good having his family out there to uh, to, to to honor him. You know, the, the, and, and and celebrate his his family the best way we could. So um, they they, uh, they released some balloons right there at the end. So it was a it was a good night. Another thing. Uh, congrats to you. Twenty five years of being the voice of Yellow Jacket football. Um, you know, you, you told me that the other day, so we couldn't let couldn't let it pass without telling you we appreciate it. Um, I appreciate that personally. I I enjoy all of the uh, all of the friendship you've given me, and uh, sometimes you, I can just vent to you, and, and you can give me advice. But uh, the kids, you know, when I told them, I, I saved it from them until uh, pregame meal because I don't want them to, to spill the beans to you. Okay, and, and they were excited. They were excited. So they they appreciate it. I know that's what you do it for. Um, they they. They were truly excited to get to give that to you um, on the field with you, so um, they were pumped. I was super surprised, humbled, and uh, I've worked with two, uh, I've only worked with two head football coaches here, uh, Coach Al <coughs> for 20 years, and now you with five, and I, I've been fortunate and blessed enough to uh, have coaches that will talk with me, and I, I know sometimes I bug, bug you about getting stuff and getting information and stuff, but... Uh, it's uh, it, it is a really nice. I was surprised. I was shocked. I was uh, one of the. You sent one of the middle school kids up and said, "You got to come down to the field. It's an emergency." And I get down to the field, and I see my wife standing there, and her 
stuff is laying on the ground in front of her, and I think, oh my golly, what's happened? And, mm -hmm. You know, oh, I, I thought I told you it was an emergency. Yeah, so. what what's <laughs> going on? But uh, to you brought me into the middle of middle of the guys, and um, I'm always surprised. Uh, I'm humbled that the guys recognize me because I'm not around them that much, and and I always ask them when they're walking up to me in in the hallway or something. What's your number? Yeah, they, they all watch the show. Um, and, Do they? Because every time that, that either we, we we misspeak about them or, or, or call somebody's name that wasn't them, they they they're sure to tell me about it. So um, they appreciate all our work and and, and we do as well. So uh, I, I so, thank you very much. So maybe another twenty-five. Oh yeah, I, I'm ready. I, I, you tell me how long you're going to be here, and I'm I'm on for the ride. Okay, because okay? that would be a good time to quit after just working with two head coaches. That's right. Um, Folks, the, the, the nice thing about it was they honored me on senior night, and I was maybe the most senior senior age guy on the field, so right. it, that was kind of ironic. Uh, it gave me a nice plaque, and I, uh, like I said, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yes, I appreciate sir. the time yes, that sir. you give me. So uh, we are going to Dalton next week. Yep, we got two road games to finish it off. Um, Dalton beat Cass tonight. Uh, cars will beat Hiram by a point. <laughs> yes. um, so it's uh, you know we got to make sure we go take care of business. Um, next week because it, it, the region's still kind of in, um, you don't know how it's going to finish. Right. Um, you know, Cass has got two, Dalton has one, Hiram's got two now, so um, it can shake out a, a lot of different ways, but just like we said last week, it, we just got to make sure we take care of one week at a time. So uh, it'll be weird going to Dalton this point in the season. You know, yes, we're, it we're is. used to going for game one, maybe game two, two. Yes. the whole time I've, I've been here. So. Um, it'll be a, a unique kind of late late season um, experience. So, uh, and they're playing really good football. They're, they're playing they're playing playing well. So um, I'm interested to kind of get this weekend and, and get to dive into them and see what we got. Yeah, they have their entire offensive line back this year. Their offense <coughs> has been very productive this year. Uh, so it, it, it's going to be a, it's going to be a typical Calhoun Dalton matchup. Uh, with, you know, back years ago, you, you talked to some some of the folks that played back in the '60s and '70s. It, it seemed to always go Dalton's way. We've had a little bit of an advantage lately. It's just going to be a, a slobber knocker affair. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's um, you know, when you look at it, uh, I think Cardinals will pretty much clinched um, a playoff berth tonight, and and so now we got four playing for three. So you know, one one team's not going to make it. So we got to make sure we go take your business each each week. Yeah, good. So, uh, once again, congratulations on a 48-13 to 13 victory. You, you did what you needed to do on senior night, and uh, hopefully we can, uh, we can get somebody to upset somebody along the way. We take care of our, our two games, and maybe we end up with a number two seed, and you, you never know what's going to happen. As I've said many times, this is the most competitive region I think I've been involved with in 25 years. It, it's just a tough, tough region. Yeah, it is. Like I said, you know, one really good team is not going to make the playoffs. So. Yeah. We got to make sure that we uh, we take care of business, folks. We really appreciate you watching the show. It's being brought to you by the Eye Place. So you see Dr. Kenny Holloway at 101 South River Street, and they'll take care of all your all your optical needs. Once again, the Yellow Jackets are victorious, 48 to 13. You've been watching the Coach Clay Stevenson Show. <laughs>